Thanks, guys. Here with Alex Telco. And, I mean, field hockey had such a great season this year, getting all the way to the Patriot League championship game for the first time since 2019. Granted, that's one year, but, you know, just how good did it feel to be back in action at Rappel, playing in front of fans, and, you know, to have something that was like a normal experience this season? Absolutely. It was incredible. The season was great. The team camaraderie was spot on. You know, one game that stands out to me is when we played Penn State earlier in the year. You know, I've never played in front of so many fans. It was really exciting. Um, we could feel the crowd's energy throughout the whole game, and it was really spectacular. It felt great to be back out there. I know you're involved in a lot of things outside of just athletics here at Lafayette. A lot of different clubs, obviously classes are, are tough. Just how do you balance all of that? And, and the experience of just being a student athlete here. Definitely, you know, I think it comes from early on freshman year throughout a lot of the programs that we as Lafayette offer through like the peer mentors and some other things to help learn about time management and different structure and kind of managing our time. Um, so I definitely use a calendar, um, but definitely work to balance my time through like all that stuff. I know one of the, one of the organizations you're involved in is the, the SAC here. How has that role changed with the pandemic and all of the different challenges just the last year and a half? Definitely. I first joined SAC my freshman year, I believe, and the organization has grown a lot since then. Um, it's a really fabulous group to be a part of with representation from a lot of different student athletes. Um, and through the pandemic, we, of course, went all virtual. So it's really nice to be back as a group and in person and have in-person meetings um, about once a month uh, with the different student athletes from all different sports. And what is it that you guys kind of all discuss? And, and do I feel like we hear about SAC? Maybe people might not know exactly what it is that, that the committee does. Def definitely. So it's the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Um, and this is a subset of the whole NCAA. So every institution has one. Um, and we kind of have bi-monthly meetings to talk about everything from student athlete culture to things that we want to have an impact on. Um, actually, just the other day, we had an event held for the sophomore class of student athletes to bring them together because they got a little kind of scammed with COVID of not getting to know each other. So we were in the back of the gym here, had a lot of food and some t-shirts for the class to bring them together. So we do a lot of kind of community related events um, as well as kind of things that we want to fix around the year. And I know you're graduating here in the spring. Just any plans yet for, for what you're going to do after graduating from Lafayette? Yes, after graduation, I'll be working for UBS, um, a Swiss bank in New York City. Um, and I actually was first exposed to the bank through the Lafayette externship program nearly two years ago. Um, so that was my first exposure to the bank. And since then, I'd interned there this past summer and absolutely loved it. Um, and I'm looking forward to kind of going back there for next year. That's Alex Delco from Lafayette Field Hockey. Gary John, back to you guys.